Hi everyone. I just wanted to show you how you can make your own baby worm food packets. Now, hold on one second. I forgot one thing. So, if you have not seen a baby worm food packet, this is what it looks like. And you take it out the pack. This is the one that came with my baby born Khadija. My newest baby born. And you see it's about it's a very rectangular shape. So and this is what it looks like on the back. Now I try to replicate not replicate the design, but the size of this. So, I wanted to make packets that were this exact same size. So, I used this pack to create a template. And, what I used to create my template, I used this food pack. I used the ruler. I used the pencil. To make this template, I used... Let me show you what I did. Basically, this is what the template looked like after I made it. Okay, what I did was, I took the food pack to make these lines going across. I took the food pack. Hold on. I took this packet and I placed it I can show this like that and then I put a dot underneath it then I moved it down to where that dot was and made a second dot then I took my ruler and I drew the lines I took my ruler and pencil and I went across this way and this way okay once I did that I need to make lines going this way so I again put the food packet back up and I started marking the dots this way I put a dot there 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 and then I um did the lines again with the ruler going like that then and I used this as my original. Then once I was done, I took a pen and I went to this top row and I wrote baby born food. Now, if you have a baby alive and you're going to do these pack templates, you just, instead of putting baby born, you put baby alive. And if you wanted to make juice, you could just put Instead of food, you put juice. And for the food, you could like, you could use any powder form you want. You can use sugar, you can use salt, you can use cornstarch, baby powder, baking soda, anything. The one method I do not recommend is flat. Because that not only gets stuck inside the doll, it it's just not good for a baby born. I wouldn't recommend flour for a baby born just because of the way their drink and wet system goes. and Just because of the way they're designed. But anyway, that's how I made the template. Then after I did the writing I took a black marker and I traced all the lines went over all the lines with a black marker and that's how I got this template and in the second video I will be showing you how I put together cut out and put together the food packs
But this is the template and what it looks like. So, measuring by this ruler, I can tell you about how long. Like on this side is about lengthwise, they're about six inches this way, and the template this way is which covers the whole paper almost 11 inches. Eleven inches. This is what the temple looks like. So you can do whatever you want to when you make these this template. You could add like drawings and stuff like that, but just have fun with it. And if you don't want to have to recreate this every time that you make food packets what you could do is just make one of these and then if you're a child you could take this to school you can either take it to school and have a teacher make copies for you or you could um have your mom if she has access to a copier she can make them for you your mom or your dad and Uh, just, I mean, that's just an easier way to be able to make food packets without having to recreate this every time. I mean, this is how I made it. So, if you have a baby born or getting a baby born, I recommend saving the food pack. All what you can do is, like, trace this onto a piece of paper and cut it out and that will be your which I done that and this is what I got but anyway thank you for watching this video like and subscribe bye